What is going on my Super Sandwiches, Robster here, and today we're talking about something very different in regards to Dragon Ball Super, and that is uh, the development of comedy in a series. Now, Dragon Ball Z has been known more uh, to be a series that's more serious, and we haven't really seen uh, a big focus on comedy up until the uh, introduction of the Majin Buu Saga, and then it especially becomes present in Battle of Gods, and you'll definitely see a lot of com uh, comedic moments in Resurrection F, especially with the introduction of Jackal, who by the way is a hilarious character, which I'm confident that a lot of people are going to love Jackal probably the most when they watch Resurrection F, especially when it comes out in English in August. But uh, overall, uh, what we're going to be discussing today is is how people actually feel about the comedy because it, it's kind of split the audience sort of in half when Battle of Gods came out because a lot of people didn't really like the comedy aspect of it. They just want to see, you know, strap fighting. They don't really care about stuff like that when it comes to Dragon Ball Z just because it just hasn't really been an anime to focus about that. But uh, with, uh, you know, with... Resurrection F and Battle of Gods and the development of comedy it is probably obvious to say that Dragon Ball Super is going to have a lot of hilarious moments, which we even saw in the manga when we saw Goten trying to drive that uh, truck when Go Goku was straining inside his head. So Kwame and I, not Kwame and I, Kwame and Tosi and I are going to be discussing basically our thoughts on uh, the introduction or the development of comedy, and then from there we're going to ask you guys how you guys feel about Dragon Ball Super having funny aspects on top of the action as well. So Toasty, what are your thoughts here? Uh, well, I, I actually enjoyed the parts in Battle of Gods and Resurrection F with the comedy in them, and I especially enjoyed Dragon Ball, so personally I don't have a big problem, or any problem really at all with the comedy, as long as it's done right, it's not just awkward, no, I mean I'm fine with it. Uh, they can make things funny as long as ha they also have a good mix of action and comedy, and not have it very unequal like Battle of Gods did. Battle of Gods had a very small amount of fighting, but it had a lot of comedy. It was kind of like an entrance back into Dragon Ball Z, so I guess that it was something that you could use for an excuse but I mean as long as they have the balance in between fighting and action as well as comedy and everything like that I'm perfectly fine with it I really do enjoy the comedy and it's sometimes really funny especially like Dragon Ball Dragon Ball is really funny it's mm -hmm. also raunchy though so <laughs> take, <laughs> take your poison very very uh, I was gonna reference back to the Resurrection F manga since a lot of people probably read that not many people have watched the movie for obvious reasons yet but it's, it's funny how they have those small parts that like we see with Step and Poop randomly. And on top of that, he even uh, clowns above Goku and Vegeta when he signs their shirts. So mm -hmm. comedy definitely is uh, a lot better than it used to be. Because again, Dragon Ball Z has always been more of a serious uh, anime where it's just all about fighting, not really about anything funny. I mean, it's really not funny about death, but then like it's funny because death doesn't really mean anything in Dragon Ball Z. You die, you just come back the next day. That's basically what we learned from Dragon Ball Z. But overall, I mean, uh, I I kind of like the comedy. I especially love Jacko. Jacko's a character we should probably talk about uh, a lot in this video just because uh, he is, I think, the perfect addition to the team. Like, uh, Jacko isn't powerful. He's not really, like, this crazy strong character, but he's just funny in terms of, like, I don't know how to explain him. It's just his character gets introduced, introduced, and it warns everybody that Freeza's coming, but I'm out. You're Galactic Patrol. You should probably stop Freeza. And he's just like, nah, I'm not going to do that. But you'll see that when you watch Resurrection F. <laughs> it's funny because he was like, "There's no way I'm fighting with Frieza," and then they kind of forced uh, him to nah, fam, I can't uh, do that. join to fight against them. <laughs> but Kwame, what are your thoughts on the development of comedy as kind of a focus in uh, the Dragon Ball Z series and seeing it possibly in Dragon Ball Super? Well, I think that it's pretty interesting that you were saying this, you know, and we were talking off the air that Dragon Ball originally, if you go back to the original Dragon Ball series, it was a lot more comedic in various instances and. It was also very perverted too, in many other instances. With <laughs> Let's not Roshi. forget Goku uh, with Bulma. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Bulma just straight up got abused in that series. They showed her so many times. Exactly, like Bulma, and there's a lot of you know jokes made, like you know Bulma wearing a bunny outfit, which was obviously a pun to the Playboy costume. And you know, there's a lot more comedic elements in Dragon Ball, and I feel that Dragon Ball Super is going back to the original Dragon Ball series in terms of making it. You know, dangerous, you know, King Piccolo, the King Piccolo arc, I'm sure we would agree, was a very dark arc. But there was still very comedic scenes in it, too. Like, for example, even though I remember when Yajirobe killed Symbol and, like, basically cut him in half, you know, he's like, well, what do we do with him? Well, and he literally just, like, eats the guy right after he kills him. And he asks <laughs> yeah. Goku, hey, do you want some? So there's always <laughs> been moments like that in Dragon Ball that really make you think and is compared to Dragon Ball Z, you know, the Saiyan saga, the I always look at Dragon Ball Z in four main sagas, the Saiyan, the Namek, the Android, and the Boo arc, and if you look at it, Dino, I'm sure you would agree, the first three arcs with the Saiyan, Namek, 
and the Android arc were very, very serious. Even though there were some comedic moments in it too, those three arcs were relatively serious. Like, for example, Frieza's eating a crab in the middle of, you know, killing Vegeta. I mean, like, things like that are random. But I think when you look at the Buu saga, it became a lot more lighthearted. Even though mm -hmm. Buu was a very dangerous villain where you see, you know, him... You know, fighting Gotenks and Gotenks has like all these weird attacks. So I think it's pretty interesting when we point out how super tense to go back to the original Dragon Ball. What I was gonna point out is, what I was gonna point out is, uh, I think adding comedy is overall going to make it a better anime because Dragon Ball Z has always just been about the action. Really, uh, the story was kind of eh, but it's all about the action that made Dragon Ball Z so awesome. And I mm -hmm. feel like adding the comedy makes it feel more uh, fulfilled, more complete, and that's what's, what's probably gonna make Dragon Ball Super a really good series. Uh, something I want to point out is a lot of people didn't like the comedy in Battle of Gods and honestly I feel like the reason why is because there was more comedy than fighting. I mean Battle of Gods is an awesome movie, don't get me wrong, but honestly if I'm watching Battle of Gods I'd rather kind of skip through all the what I call the filler moments in the series and just kind of get to the action. But at the same time when I do uh, watch the movie I do want to watch all of it at the same time too because even though the comedy parts isn't as awesome as the fighting, the comedy parts is still pretty funny. Yeah. They they do they did a good job of uh, having the comedy in the latest movies like the mm -hmm. before that it was kind of iffy especially in the Boo Saga some of that stuff like with Go Tanks and stuff that was trying to be really funny it was it didn't always hit the mark um, some of the things were funny like I guess Vegito getting turned into candy and still beating the crap out of Super Bugon Absorb but mm -hmm. yeah and they seem to do a lot better with the comedy writing in ter in terms of that and. Like Battle of Gods and stuff, like Hercule, like challenging Beerus to fight, even though you know Hercule obviously is, it's Hercule and he's just drunk and all that stuff. It's like it's not it's not bad. It's it's obviously not bad. It, it, gives, it gets a chuckle out of you, and it's it's just decent comedy. It's although right. I wouldn't want that to overtake the action in the series because a lot, for a lot of people that would ruin Dragon Ball Super. I'd like for it to have a good balance of it so that it, you feel like it's a fun adventure series that actually has some good laughs in as well as a bunch of action that gets your adrenaline pumping. What I was going to say is, uh, what I really liked about Resurrection F is I feel like, unlike with Battle of Gods, they mixed comedy in so well in between the fighting. Because Resurrection F is mostly action. You see uh, this epic fight between the soldiers and then Frieza and Goku and Vegeta. Uh, and then in between, they add the perfect amount of comedy where it's like you don't really even notice it, but you laugh. Whereas the problem with Battle of Gods was, uh, it was just mostly comedy and filler and then, and then the action. So I feel like if they do what they do with Resurrection F, where it's just kind of like a uh, sprinkle in between, like with Jackal, for example, when they made Jackal fight <laughs> against the army and all that stuff, that is hilarious. And I want to see more of that. Now, obviously, uh, a lot of people won't really understand that because the movie's not out yet. Uh, some of you might have seen it online, but I feel like it, it won't be uh, as noticeable until you watch the English version. Because I remember when I watched the English version of Battle of Gods, I thought it was a whole lot better and funnier than when I originally watched the sub version, just because I didn't really understand the jokes as well until I actually heard them. So I feel like when people really uh, watch Resurrection F in English, uh, or I guess your language, wherever you live, uh, it, it, you'll appreciate the comedy uh, aspect of it a lot more in the series. So mm -hmm. I'm a fan of it. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely a fan of so it. So for us in Super, it's not going to be very prevalent of comedy until it gets dubbed, really. So yeah, yeah. But hey, at least at least Resurrection F is coming out in August. So uh, make sure you guys, you know, keep an eye on when tickets go on sale. Which I will tell you right now, they'll go on sale soon. Can't say when, but it'll be really, really soon. And uh, it's a short run in August. So make sure you check it out on the big screen because it's just a really good movie. Uh, Kwame and Toasty, anything else you want to say before we end this? Well, I mean, I would just want to also point out that even though it's not, you know, officially canon, I also want to say that it kind of falls as a similar path when we look at GT2. Whereas when we see in the early parts of GT, also known as like the lost episodes, mm -hmm. that arc where Goku, Pan, and Trunks are going out of space was a lot more lighthearted as appeared to, you know, when the baby and the shadow and the shadow dragons and Super 17 showed up. So I think that Dragon Ball has kind of gone through this pattern where the earlier parts of the series tend to be a lot more lighthearted. And then when the villains come, it gets a lot more serious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So... Toasty, do you want to say anything else before we end this? No, uh, just hopefully they balance it correctly in Super and don't have too much comedy because then people will feel like there's too much of it and then they will be unhappy. Some people felt like that was Battle of Gods, but hopefully they don't do a worse job here in Super. Yeah, because I feel like what it is is a lot of us just want to see fights. Like We just want to get right into the action. We don't want to you know, sit through much story. Uh, and I know a lot of us also do want to sit through with the story and want to see the funny aspect of it as well. So... I guess we'll find out when the series airs on July 5th, and hopefully, you know, it's going to be more balanced like it was Resurrection F rather than Battle of Gods. Mm -hmm. um, so before we end this video, we want to ask you guys who are watching this right now, what are your thoughts on the development of comedy or the series? Uh, 
you know, just think back from when uh, Dragon Ball Z first aired, and we saw, you know, like the, the Saiyan Saga, Frieza Saga, Cell Saga, and then going into the Majin Buu Saga, where like comedy kind of, you know, easily became prevalent in the series. And then, of course, we saw Battle of Gods and Tudos who did see Resurrection F. What do you think about the comedy, like, just kind of booming? Uh, throughout the end of the series, let us know your thoughts. Like, do you want to see more of it? Uh, do you just not even care? Anything you, you know you, that comes to your mind, let us know in the comment section below. So, that's much it. So, Quaman, you know what to do. Go ahead and, and take this out. <coughs> <coughs> this year. <laughs> Please <Anytime>. remember <laughs> to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, as I always say, to have a great day, guys.